In today's lesson, we are going to go through partial variation. So what is partial variation? It is simply when a variation is expressed as a sum of two or more parts. For example, if you say y varies directly as x and partly varies inversely as p square. Now we can write this as y varies directly as x and y varies inversely to 1 over p square. Or we can also say y is equals to ax plus b over p square. Now the a and b here are constants and the values of a and b can be solved separately using simultaneous equation. Now let's go over to our number one example. It says u varies directly as x and partly inversely as the square root of m. Now when u equals 56.75 and s equals 8 and m equals 16 and when u equals 84.6 and s equals 12 and m equals 25. Now with these values we are asked to find the equation connecting u, s and m. And again we said we should also find the values of m when u equals 105.5 and when s equals 15. Now for the first one that said we should find the equation connecting u, s and m. You can say since u varies directly as x and partly inversely as the square root of m, as we did before when introducing partial variation, you can say u equals as plus b over the square root of m, where a and b here are constants. Now, for the first part, where you say u equals 56.75 and s equals 8 and m equals 16, when we substitute that into our equation, which is u equals as plus b over the square root of m, we have 56.75 equals 8a then plus b over the square root of 16. Now, the square root of 16 equals 4. Now, to get rid of 4, we are going to multiply both sides by 4. So, this will give us 227 which is 56.75 multiplied by 4 then is equals to 32a which is 8a multiplied by 4 then we have our b so we're going to call this equation 1 now to the second part when it says u equals 84.6 and s equals 12 and m equals 25 then when we substitute that into our equation we have 84.6 equals 12a plus b over the square root of 25 and the square root of 25 is equals 5 so again to get rid of 5 we are going to multiply both sides of the equation by 5 so this will give us 423 equals 60a plus b and we are going to call this equation 2 now we have equation 1 and 2. To solve for A, we are going to try eliminating B. So what do we do? We subtract equation 1 from 2. And this will give us 196 equals 28A. So to solve for A, we are going to divide through by 28. And this is going to give us 7. Now since we have our value of A as equals to 7, we are going to go straight and substitute our A in equation 1. And this will give us 227 equals 32 multiplied by 7 plus b. And when we multiply, we have 227 equals 224 plus b. So to get b, we are going to subtract 227 to, from both sides of the equation. So we have our b equals to 3. So the answer to the first question, which is find the equation connecting u, s, and m, simply equals u equals to 7s, 7 is the value of our a, then plus 3 over the square root of m. So this is the equation connecting u, s, and m. Now for the second question that said we should solve for the value of m when u equals 105.5 and s equals 15. Using the same constant we got 
for the value of a and b which is 7 and 3 we are going to apply that in our equation which is u equals a s plus b over the square root of m now when we substitute the value of u here and s here so we can solve for m so we have 105.5 equals 7 multiplied by 15 plus 3 over the square root of m now 7 multiplied by 15 will give us 105 so we have 105.5 equals 105 plus 3 over the square root of m since we are solving for m we are going to collect like terms that is we are going to try getting rid of 105 which is on the right hand side of the equation so what do we do we add negative 105 to both sides of our equation so when we add so when we subtract 105 from 105.5 we are going to be left with 0 0.5 so we have 0 0.5 which is equals to 1 over 2 equals 3 over the square root of m now when we cross multiply we have our square root of m equals 6 that is 3 multiplied by 2 and then to solve for m you know the drill we are going to square both sides to get rid of the square root so we have m equals to 6 square and c square is equals to 36. Thanks for watching this video. You can also find other examples of partial variation to practice more. So good luck in your exam, quiz, or anything you are preparing for. See you in my next video. Bye.